the WHO and the uh, United Nations has, as part of the Millennium Development Goals, defined what is an acceptable, uh, improved, what they call improved drinking water source, and what is an uh, unimproved drinking water source. And, and of course, the goal is that every drinking water should be improved. So it would start from the from the bottom. <coughs> the unimproved drinking water is an unprotected dug well. Uh, the one which is not having a lining, unprotected spring where the water is just running out without having the spring box, cart with a small tank or drum, uh, that is often you see someone selling water from a, from a, from a small truck with a, with a horse in front or something, tanker truck, uh, this is something that is all not very commonly in developing countries as such, but if there's a Emergency situation, a tanker would drive out and sell water. It's also not improved. And then all kinds of uh, surface water, like rivers, dams, lakes, ponds, stream, canal, irrigation channel. As I said, some of them might if improved uh, be good enough, but, but mostly surface water is not good because of the quality. And then bottled water is also not considered uh, unimproved, I think not because bottled water is unclean, just because it costs money, so, so people would not use it. So these are the unimproved water sources. The good ones, the improved water sources, is the pipe water into a dwelling, the taps to the yard or to the pure flood, public tap or standpipe, tube well, borehole, or protected dock well, protected spring, and rainwater collection. So these are considered uh, good and bad. You can find situations where, where I would say like a dam, a protected dam would be good enough. Same times, I would also say rainwater collection is good in itself, but it's not if, if it doesn't cover the whole year, it is not. I mean, the situation is not good enough. So there are some exceptions you could you might say. However, if you treat water, then you could maybe use some of these water sources as well. So an unimproved drinking water source becomes a, an improved drinking water source. And that's what I'm going to talk about now, the different ways that we can uh, treat uh, water. We have some water quality problems that are health related. Uh, the microbiological, we've talked a lot about this in this course. Uh, all the bacteria, the, the viruses, the um, all the disease forming uh, micro, uh, microbes is, is, is a problem for the, for the health. Then there's some natural chemical ones. Uh, fluoride, arsenic, is, uh, fluoride is giving uh, limited movements because it, it, uh, it uh, kind of creates more bone into the elbows, into the knees, and uh, it destroys the teeth. Arsenic is making you um, can uh, give you cancer because it destroys the liver. So sometimes these, these things are, are found naturally in the water, not as a, as a pollution, but, but uh, not a human pollution, but naturally. Um, and that's a problem. And then we have some man-made things. If you have too much nitrate, heavy metal, pesticides, uh, even chlorine that is used for treating the water. Um, some things, uh, our pollution can also create problems for the drinking water. But we also have some uh, water quality problems that are not directly, that are not disease forming, but uh, they, we call them organoleptic. That means the taste, the odor, the appearance looks uh, bad, it tastes bad. Uh, and there may be some, some uh, taste from the hardness, from the salinity, if there's too much salt in it. Iron manganese can give a, a, a bad taste. So it means that you won't drink this water. You don't like it because it looks bad, it, it tastes bad. Uh, iron containing water is, is, is uh, very ugly also. So, but the problem is as big as this one, because if you don't want to drink this, then you go back to the other one, the other source that may be contaminated with, with microbiological things. So, so it is even though it sounds like organoleptic is not such a big problem, it's just a taste, but it means that people are not drinking it. And then there is some uh, 
technical problems here with uh, some aggressive uh, carbon dioxide. The pH, the alkalinity may be, may be problematic. Hardness, iron. Some things that uh, may uh, clog your, your pipes with time. Uh, we all know about hardness. We have to clean our taps once in a while here in Denmark, for example. We have a lot of hardness in the, in the water. So there's some technical problems with these. If we look at the where, where do we find these problems? If we look at springs, sometimes we have chloride in the springs, uh, but that is the biggest problem uh, normally we see there. In the groundwater, we sometimes find fluorine, we sometimes find iron, arsenic, manganese, the salt solids, uh, salinity, uh, that is the same. Uh, calcium we can find in some groundwater. In surface water, the problem is completely different. That is bacteria, <coughs> this is suspended solids, uh, particles, nitrate, uh, BOD is organic matter. And then the brain is typically not so much of a problem. But the alkalinity uh, may be a problem, as we said, it's a problem with the soap. Um, BOD may be a problem if it's if the roof is dirty. You can also get some uh, organic things into that. So it's quite different uh, problems you find, especially between surface water and groundwater. And they have to be treated in different ways. So when are we going to treat, just to start, just to frame this whole thing? Um, it's not always to treat it. And, diff and, and there are some reasons that you don't do it as the first thing here. Uh, you should start looking for a feasible source. If there's another source that you don't need to treat, you would go for that, investigate that first. Treatment is usually difficult to maintain. You have to, somebody has to treat it, and you have to control that it's treated well. And it's, it, it, it is difficult to do. Sometimes it also costs money. Uh, some can be very cheap, so it's a, not a big problem. But it, it costs some money. Every day, every month, you have to pay something. And requires motivation and training uh, for the people who have to do it, if they're in the households. Um, and, or if it's a common system where someone is employed to, to, to treat it. It's not everything we can treat. For example, salinity is not on the list here. Those, those things we can treat is bacteria, silt, uh, particles, iron, manganese, fluoride, and arsenic. These are the things that we can treat. But salinity, we can also treat, but not in practice. I mean, salinity is something you can treat with a, uh, with a, with a big uh, reverse osmosis uh, machine, but it's something that you don't install in a village because it's expensive and it requires very high skilled labor. 